Hi, my name is Mackenzie, and I'll be providing you with a quick overview on how to set up and use your new Analog Discovery by Digilent. First off, the Analog Discovery Kit is a low-cost, portable, hands-on learning platform that can help you design and test analog and digital circuits. It can measure and record many types of signals, and it can also produce signals as well. This means that you can both stimulate circuits and observe their behaviors. The best part is that with the analog discovery, you will be able to do all of this wherever you want. In a lab, at home, at a coffee shop, anywhere you can use a laptop. If you would like a more in-depth description and background on the analog discovery, please visit the Digilent website. During this quick start video, I will show you how to download and install Digilent's free waveform software. This is the software that runs the analog discovery. Also, I will review the items included in your kit along with the basic features of the analog discovery. Now when you receive your analog discovery kit, it will include the analog discovery in a detachable flywire cable, a USB cable, and a package of mail-to-mail -mail connectors. Once unpacked, you will notice that the analog discovery has a USB port and audio jack on one end and the main flywire connector on the other. Now that you are more familiar with the kit, we will get started. First, we will download waveforms from Digilent's website to your PC. Waveforms is compatible with all Windows OS versions. At this point, go ahead and make sure your flywire cable is snugly inserted before proceeding to the next step. Next, connect the analog discovery to your PC using the USB cable provided. After you have connected your analog discovery to your PC, go ahead and open Waveforms. At this point, Waveforms should not be running in demo mode. If it is, you will need to check your connection. Once everything is correctly connected, you should have the home screen of Waveforms displayed on your PC. You will see several tools grouped in two categories, digital and analog. For this quick start video, we will only be using the analog tools. There are three analog tools, voltage, scope, and arbitrary waveform generator, also called AWG. With the voltage tool, you will be able to control the discovery's two power supplies using simple on-off buttons. The next tool waveforms has to offer is the scope. The scope is used to measure voltage differences and has most capabilities of a professional lab oscilloscope. Most importantly, you will be able to gather statistical data such as frequency, amplitude, and period about the signals recorded. Now, let's familiarize ourselves with the scope tools interface. In the top left, you will see there is a single acquisition and continuous acquisition button along with the trigger options. Next, you will want to check out the channel controls, which are located on the right side of your screen. Within these controls, you can set the channel offset and range. This adjusts the y-axis scale and offset, which you can also do by clicking and dragging the y-axis. Finally, you will notice the time controls in the top right corner. With these controls, you will be able to set and adjust the time position and base which adjusts the x-axis scale and offset. Again, you can also adjust these by dragging the x-axis. Now that we have gone through the functions of the scope, you will move on to the AWG. The AWG is used to output a user-defined signal. This signal is usually periodic. Within the AWG, you will notice the following controls. The Run All button which is in the top left, begins running all of the selected channels. The Channel 1 Run button begins running only Channel 1. The Select Channels drop-down provides the user with a drop-down menu for selecting which channels to have active. The Signal Type menu selects the type of signal to output. Now you will see the Frequency, Amplitude, and Offset sliders. These sliders modify certain characteristics about the selected wave. For personal safety when modifying circuits and connections that are being utilized with the analog discovery, make sure that all power is turned off before touching any components. We will be performing a functional test to make sure your device is working. 
It is easy to perform and only requires a PC and the products that came in your analog discovery kit. First, you will want to make sure Waveforms is open on your computer and everything is correctly connected. At this point, you will also want to connect the W1 connector with the positive channel 1 connector using the provided mail to mail connectors and the negative channel 1 to the ground connector. Once you have done that, open Scope and AWG. At this point, I also recommend refreshing all of your settings back to default by going to the Settings drop-down and selecting Load Defaults for each window. Then, go to the AWG screen where you will want to change the frequency to 500 Hz. You will want to make sure that only the first channel is selected for use. Then press Run AWG1. You can then go to the Scope screen and press Run. Once you see the wave in the scope window, you will know your device is working correctly. And that's it! To learn more about what Analog Discovery has to offer, check out Digilent's website and upcoming videos.